My name is Oscar Nierstress. Today I'd like to show you how to set up a GitHub repository to manage your Glamorous Toolkit code and Lepiter pages. The first thing to do is to download Glamorous Toolkit for your platform and start it up. I'll assume that you already have a GitHub account and have added an SSH key to that account. If not, you should first create a GitHub account and read the GitHub page about adding a new SSH key to your GitHub account. Before you can use Git within GT, you have to inform it of your Git credentials. On Unix platforms like the Mac, you should run this command before starting GT, or you can add it to your login script. Alternatively, you can configure the SSH credentials directly within GT. You should open the page how to configure GitHub SSH key authentication in the GT book. First, have a look in your .ssh folder to check the names of your private and public key files. In my case, here they are idrsa.pub and idrsa. Then scroll down in the same GT book page to the section 3b configuring Glamorous Toolkit with the SSH key to GitHub. The script informs Iceberg, the library that handles the interaction with Git, of your GitHub credentials. It's a good idea to copy the script to your private Lepiter database so it's available the next time you need it. Just modify the script to use your SSH credentials, for example, id underscore rsa.pub and id underscore rsa. Next, we create a repo on GitHub. Here we create the GT stuff repo and initialize it with a readme. We commit the readme and copy the SSH link. Next, we clone the repo in GT using the SSH protocol. We open the Git tool in GT and clone the repo using the copied SSH URL. Now we will turn the GitHub repo into an Iceberg project repo. First, we set up the metadata and the source directory. The source directory is traditionally called SRC. Next, we create an initial package and a baseline to automate loading of dependencies. The name of the package is automatically derived from the project name. Now, if we look at the readme file, we see that a load script has been added. The last step is to add a dedicated Lepiter database to our project where we can document our progress and provide documentation. Finally, we commit our changes and push them to the repo. Don't forget to push. We can verify that the changes have indeed been pushed. Our repo has been initialized but it contains no code and no documentation, so let's add something. We start by creating a new Lepiter page in our new empty database. We add a code snippet for a class that doesn't yet exist. We use the Fixit tool to create the Hello World class, specifying that it should be created in our GT stuff package. We click on the check mark to create the class. The class now exists, but it needs a hello method, so we use the fixit tool again. We implement the method, save it with the check mark. Finally, we can evaluate and inspect the result to verify the answer. Of course, now we want to commit our changes. We can do this from the git tool, but a quicker path is to open the hello world class directly in the snippet and click on go to repository. There we can see the new Lepiter page, the new class, and its hello method. Finally, we commit, and don't forget to push. Now let's verify that we can load our project back into a fresh image. We'll quit this image without saving and download a fresh one from gtoolkit.com. We verify that no Git repos are loaded, and as Lepiter databases, we only have the GT book and our own private Lepiter database loaded. We open the Lepiter page that tells GT about our SSH credentials. We evaluate the script. Now we add the load scripts from the readme of our GitHub repo. 
We evaluate or inspect the two snippets, and now we can see that our code is back. Since that took us less than seven minutes, let's have a quick look at how you can add a card for your project to GT's home section. First, go to the GT book page called How to Set Up a Home Section, which explains the steps. You'll need to add an extension method to the GT Home class that looks like this. Since it's an extension method, it needs to be assigned to your GT stuff package. Just change the method category to asterisk GT stuff, or whatever your package is called. Now, if we go to the home section, we'll see a card that takes us straight to our Hello World page. Don't forget to commit and push the extension method. You'll find more GT in 7-minute videos on our YouTube channel, or you can explore GT by downloading it from gtoolkit.com. Thanks for listening.